Hi my friends, it's Gardener Julia here. I'm about to show you how we can make a homemade rain gauge. What is a rain gauge, you might ask? Well, a rain gauge is something that we use to measure how much rain is falling from the sky. In the garden, this is what it looks like. And at home, this is what it's gonna look like. Things that you'll need, a plastic water bottle, a marker, scissors, tape, and a ruler. Something that I don't have at home but that's helpful is to have some rocks or gravel. To start, I'm gonna take my plastic water bottle. This is what we're going to use to actually catch the water in. I'm going to take my scissors and cut the top of the water bottle off. This is important that you ask an adult to help you with this to make sure that you don't get hurt. Now you take your top and you actually insert it into the bottom part of your rain gauge. Now this is where you take your tape and you tape the top onto the bottom. Next up, we want to put a scale on our rain gauge to know just how much water we are catching. The slight problem that we have with plastic water bottles is that they have these little legs right here, which can actually make it inaccurate for when we are catching water, right? Normally we measure things from a flat surface, but these legs are not flat. So you can either take some rocks and pebbles and fill up these little legs to get a more accurate reading, or I filled it with just a little bit of water and I'm going to start my scale using my ruler from the top of that water line. I'm not gonna start by marking it from down here. I will start right at that water line. I am also going to go by inches. You can see inches on my ruler. This is an old ruler, but here is one inch, two inch, three inch. So now I have my scale. So when I start to catch some water in here, if it rains for an hour and I come back out and maybe this water line has moved up to, oh, to the one line, that means that I caught one inch of water, two inches, three inches, four inches of water until the very top. And this is my very simple rain gauge. The last thing I have to do is wait for a rainy day and put it outside.